G'day folks, Pakira, how are ya? So, it's been a while, this is uh, Channel Updates, it's been a very long time since we've had one of these, and I thought it was a good time to sit down and uh, reflect a little bit, and just announce a few things I want to bring into the channel uh, for July specifically, and potentially going in, you know, going forward. So, I'm trying to keep the jibber jabber down a bit. But we'll kick off with the rebrand that happened at the beginning of June, uh, end of May, uh, to Pakira NZ from Pakira Gaming, um, or Pakira Games, I should say. Uh, the reason for the rebrand was, well, the channel had gone in a different direction game-wise for a couple of months anyway, or two or three months, to be honest. Um, and also, I felt that the change better reflected uh, me, where I'm from, and also allows the channel growth and more diversity going forward. Uh, into what we can incorporate within it and so that was the real reason the reason behind it all is just to be able to um, diversify get that growth and better reflect me as well and also within different gaming or different communities on social media for example you know a, a better easier to um, I feel engage with people with a more generic Pakira NZ sort of profile rightly or wrongly that was just my thought process uh, on it as well so uh, that's the reason for the rebrand i um, thank you for those who have commented and gave me feedback on it uh it's all been positive so uh, which is good um and it, like it's a simple design i'm a simple fella you know uh i don't have the tools to and i don't actually i don't even think i have the imagination of brain the to to go into do all those flash intros and stuff as much as i'd love to if you're interested in helping me out hit me up <laughs> but look uh that is the rebrand basically in a nutshell uh and i'm hoping going forward it will allow me to like i said diversify more with the content and also uh, further growth now june has been an interesting month uh end of may early june a lot of my videos have been attacked by bot view, view bots i will say where my view counts went from the averages in the 20s to 100 300s 400s 900s at one stage um i think thankfully it seems to have fingers crossed touch wood well that's knock on wood being sorted by youtube i did push you know um ask i reach out to them a few times and just say hey what's going on here can we fix this i know others have noticed it uh and, and their content uh, there was a big thing about it a few probably close to about three weeks ago on twitter maybe even four weeks ago on twitter about um all these attacks now it's those people who make those generic you know those comments those bot comments if you like you know who they are if you're a content creator hey you want to be youtube friends let's be friends or the wording slightly changes different profiles and things like that um yeah, so uh, they're the ones to watch out for. Don't reply to them, folks, because it gives them an opportunity and an open door. But anyway, that's enough said about that. I'm just going to touch on the subscribers for a second here. So in front of you, 196. That's my real-time uh, live subscriber count. I want to thank each and every one of you, though. Uh, 196 subscribers is a massive... Well, it's four away from a big milestone for me. 200 or to even 250 coming down the line and i'm hoping i'll be able to achieve the 200 mark before my birth month of august and um even higher 250 would be a great way to celebrate uh, my birthday coming up in august <coughs> hint, hint. <coughs> cough cough no but look seriously um and part of the reason i the part of the reason i'm really happy about that view count is that it shows there's still been some growth there. Um, when Football Manager 2020 came along, I was about 120s, I believe, 130s at one stage. And then about a week after, you know, when the beta started to be produced and I was producing some of these prediction videos, I managed to get the views up to about 140. I made the 150 mark very early on there. And I was happy. And I was confident and hoping quietly to have... Uh, a 200 target i thought to myself i gave myself a target of 200 subs by then you know when the from fm 20s released to fm 21 i thought that'd be quite a realistic total of about you know 50 or plus subscribers for a small channel 
and um to be on 196 considering the change i made the massive change i made in in january is uh is huge and i just want to thank you all i was producing on a regular basis um football manager videos um and then i just stopped i took a month and probably two weeks off but yeah five weeks off roughly and then the the, the new video to the channel was farm sim 2019 so i went from football manager for farm sim in about six weeks total change of direction big handbrake go down the other road and the reason for that was because i i fell out of love with football manager big time um i don't recall falling out of love with a game like that ever um and i'm not going to go into bits and pieces as to why uh, i've communicated those in the podcast and other areas so um i just did and i took that break for six weeks decided to come back and i was enjoying farm sim at the time i still am by the way and uh for the months of march until early april that's all that was coming out farm sim once a one once or twice a week and then i brought back on the tuesday truck and tuesday came back ets it lasted about two weeks and then um the feedback trucking thursday came back ets ats we're kind of mixing it up a little bit now so you know a big change of direction going to uh more simulated uh you know if you like uh sort of content and so it's a massive change from one audience to um other audiences uh and audiences in my opinion that have bigger followings and you're trying to get into that it's just huge and it's hard you know and it's hard as well in fm for crying out loud it's a you know so trying to gain traction as a small channel from one to another is a massive drastic move and i'm starting to feel in the last month and a half that especially in the last month that things have been tracking well i'm starting to get the good traction now the wheels aren't sliding so much the the change in direction has kind of settled down and it's good to see and i'm hoping from now on to progress and keep going on the similar track i am without so much uh, and i don't really want to do it as such a massive um u-turn as i did before with the drastic change from football manager to to, uh, to farm sim ets ats and simulation more simulation games i still enjoy football manager i've followed the game since it was championship manager but it's just not in my steam library anymore i've just uninstalled fm20 so for your you may be holding out that there may be another video nah what will happen with football manager 21 i will discuss closer to football manager 21 and the channel but a big change a massive change in direction and that is why i'm still happy with the the sub count because yes you do lo you lose a lot of people some people dropped off as subs uh some people may still be subs but they don't bother watching now because they don't have an interest in trucking or farming and that's you know that's perfectly said you know yeah fine i'll be the same i am the same way i have been the same with some channels and sometimes maybe the content's just not there i have I know I have been guilty of chopping and changing the style of the content I've been creating for those um, videos. And I'm trying to settle into more of a rhythm with them now. Um, less self-doubt in what I'm producing, I guess, is hard because I, I strive in feedback, positive and negative, to be honest. And it's hard when you don't really get much of that. Uh, I, have, I do get some of it, and I do appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. And it's the, those it's the feedback that i get on board i take on board and try things out uh in terms of trucking i'm pretty happy with how that is now the style um I've, i even put this 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 crazy old mug on and uh on the on the on the trucking uh and the style will kind of stay the same there will be slight changes but they won't be very noticeable be still within the, what i hoped is the trucking and chilling sort of vibe the farming I armed an art for a while last last month whether I was going to continue um, doing it, but I made a decision. Yes, I will still continue to do it because I still get views on it. Uh, doesn't matter what the numbers are, eventually get views, and I enjoy the game, and that's the main thing. I need to start getting back into just the I enjoy playing the game, and now and again I might just press record instead. You know, 
Um, and I do enjoy editing. It's basic editing. I don't do all this fancy dancy stuff. It's just not me. Not that I wouldn't mind doing it. I just don't think I can do it anymore and or at all. But I like it. And those games, I enjoy doing it. And those games, I want to add to them. I want to diversify, but I want to add to those sort of games as well. And that brings me to July. Thank you, Steam, for your sale. Amen. Um, yeah, so speaking into July, we segue way into July now with those. Uh, well, we look at bringing in two, possibly three different series. So, introducing number one, which is of certainty, on screen right now. And the first one is Bus Simulator 18. That's the thumbnail for the first video, which will be out. I am planning sometime in the first week of uh, July. So this will be out. Uh, I'm going to schedule this to be out on the on the Wednesdays once a week at this stage uh however for this first look we will look at getting it out on the 4th or 5th of july so yeah i'm excited to bring you this bus similar 18 bus simulator 18 um I, it's yes 2020 but we're promoting 18 well we are um it's a game i've, I've done a little bit of it's been in my wish list for a while i've had a look in the last few weeks extensively uh, some uh, not two weeks last few days especially over the weekend of a few videos let's plays uh, by guys like northern alex for example uh on this sort of game to see if it would fit the channel and possibly do it and i'm hoping the feedback is good so let me know down below always feedback i i thrive on it positive or negative negative constructive criticism guys if you're going to dislike my videos um feel free to hit me up I'm not going to have a go of you. If you've got legit reasons why you don't like the videos, that's how I'm going to get better is if you let me know. Just as much as the positive stuff. So Bus Simulator 18 will be out the first weekend of July as a one-off, but then continuing every Wednesday going forward. I am excited about this game because I think it offers a lot more. Uh, it's got a good sort of, it's got a little bit of a business company sort of background or style theme to it, similar to ATS, how it does. Um, and even to an extent farm simulator where you have to you know take account for your farm and the financial aspects of that if you want to so it's a real good sim game for me it's a proper simulator if you like so i'm looking forward and excited to do that uh the next one i want to bring out is a uh, fern bus simulator so this i will be honest i have ummed and ahed so this this video will be out i haven't decided on when these will drop i will maybe do a little four week a four episode series on it just for july and then reevaluate at the end of the month i like the style of this there's a lot of positives and there's a few cons in my opinion for this game uh, which i will do later on anyway uh, but i want to bring it i want to test it out i want to bring the style of the game to the channel because it fits that bus theme as well um, and it allows i like bus similar to 18 it's a fictional city fictional place um firm bus the makers of tourist bus as well by the way which i don't have but firm bus uh, it's real world i like what are some of the aspects off the top of my head i'll just say i like the the scale of the map the city maps the detail the graphics a lot more closely aligned i feel with ats ec ets i really like all a lot of those aspects but i feel it's too basic it's more like a bus driving game than a bus driving simulator uh, but i'll explain that in a separate video anyway which will lead me into another one i'm going to announce here if you have a, de a game developer or a studio and you want me to have a look at some of the games please feel free to hit me up i'll be happy to um have a look at some of your games and produce a video on it so that's where i want to do as well i want to do some first looks um i want to have uh and i'm going to try and do those going forward and to help doing that as well uh, a little bit of a thing i'm going to bring in the weekends apart from this the first weekend of june uh, july will be a steam a steam library and it will be uh, just a random game from a steam library one that i either play a lot still or haven't played or touched um for a long time or at all some of those games you can get in bundles and you won't look at the title and you go oh what's that come from you know 
so yeah, that'd be a bit of fun, a bit of change, and I'll do uh, just play a one-off 15, 20 minute video of it uh, and see how it goes. You know, if there's a, it could possibly lead to another mini series depending on things like that. I want to do a few more mini series going through of games um, and chop and change. So that's the 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 third, you know this this third announcement there really that's going through on the channel is is that. So we've got Bus Simulator 18 coming first weekend of July. We've got Firm Bus Simulator coming in July, um, and we've also got uh, in the weekends on Saturdays. We're going to say it now Saturdays. We're going to have the Steam Library Saturday, and where I look through games on my Steam Library. Also, I'm hoping, like I said, have a look, a lot more look, uh, first look videos. So, if you've got any subscribe um, suggestions, feel free to let me know. If you if you're a developer or a studio and you want me to have a look at your videos, hit me down below. Let me know as well. The contact details are in my description of videos as well, so you can contact me there. But I want to just say, yep, thanks a lot for the subs. And going forward, I'm hoping to get more traction. I'm hoping to enhance the content by um, trying when I can uh, to get better equipment. I'm on a gaming laptop at the moment. Works a treat. But I'm looking at, hopefully this week coming, I'm getting a VGA HDMI adapter. I can then move into there. Uh, on the desk there have a little office with a second monitor set up which is going to make me a, make it a little bit easier for me to do things and, and monitor uh, things the next big expense apart from a game is i'm trying to save up for is i want to get a steering wheel i need steering wheel and pedals i want to be able to play these trucking videos these farming videos uh, with a little bit more fluidity uh, than keyboard and mouse you'll know the difference i know the difference when you watch someone who plays ETS, for example, and they're using a steering wheel compared to me who uses a keyboard. It's the, the motions are less janky. Um, you know, it's obvious. You know, and I I feel I do a decent job on the keyboard uh, using what I use, but I would like to get a steering wheel. Um, I have an Amazon wish list if you want to go and check that out. <laughs> no jokes, you know. But um, that's the next purchase. Um, Good old New Zealand, and with the coronavirus stuff still going on in uh, the majority of the world, it's very tough to get anything sent over here to little old New Zealand at the moment. Um, so, you know, I don't know. Hopefully by August I can get something like, like that set up and working. It'd be quite cool. But I think we're going to hit that 20-minute mark today. I think I've covered enough. Uh, again, 196 subscribers. Really happy with that. Thank you all. Thanks to each and every one of you who continue to watch my videos, tweet my stuff, retweet my stuff on Twitter. Uh, follow me on everywhere else. I appreciate it. I really do I appreciate the feedback I get from you, some of you. I appreciate the comments that you continuously comment on my videos. I love it. I thrive off that stuff. I really do enjoy it. And I do... Um, unless you're a bot, reply to all of you. Um, so yeah, so thanks a lot again for watching um, and subscribing and commenting and everything else and your continued support moving forward. And uh, yeah, so I think I will leave it there. So as I usually say, Pakira Games is all over and over rover. You know you can follow me on uh, the... You can follow me on the... Uh, Social media is there in front of your face. Pakira NZ uh, Facebook group at Pakira underscore NZ on Instagram, at Pakira NZ on Twitter, and of course Pakira NZ on the YouTube. That's all the socials there, folks. I am Pakira. I want to thank you again uh, for everything. So as I say, Pakira, over and out. I finally got this recorded. Nailed it. Kia kaha.